Hi there and welcome to my channel. I'm Liz and today I have a fun unboxing two pair of Loro Piana loafers, the summer walk. But I wanted to tell you real quick how I got here. So last year I had gotten into gray and I realized I didn't have any gray shoes because sometimes I didn't want to pair them with white shoes or tan shoes or black shoes and really wanted to keep it very monochrome. And so I was like, okay, I need some gray loafers. I love loafers. I have a lot of loafers. So I will be doing a video this year on some of my favorite loafers as well. But um, in my search for gray loafers, I thought, well, I'm only gonna need one pair of gray loafers. So I wanna have a really cute pair, something unique, something good quality, because I wanna kind of be one and done. And so I set out, you know, on the internet to find a pair of gray loafers. I first stopped in at uh, Manalo Blanick and picked up a pair. They were from the men's section and I, you know, I ordered them. They came in, they were too big, first of all, and that was the smallest size that they offered. And I, I thought they were too plain. So sent those back and then i ordered a pair from dior and then those came in and th those didn't fit either and actually my both my girls didn't like them <laughs> i thought they were kind of cute but they didn't fit so i passed they were a little louder and not as timeless so ultimately i decided to pass on those i should have filmed those i didn't though um so then next i uh came upon the Laurel Piana summer walk and as soon as I saw the design with the little charms I was like that is so cute that is the one I want ordered uh, and this was back in November or December uh, at some point they canceled my order because they ran out of stock <laughs> So I didn't even realize uh, January rolls around and I was like, where are my loafers? They never arrived. Then I went back and I did ha receive an email that said the order was canceled because they were out of stock. So I'm sure it was a big seller in December. Um, so I reordered and here they are. So I wanted to unbox with you, give you my first impressions and then go over some information that I am aware about them because I did do some research on them and yeah we'll see what i really think so if you're interested to see which colors i picked out and my thoughts on them then just keep watching okay so uh the packaging the the shipping packaging was pretty uh regular just had some uh, packing paper and in the box and then here is the <clears throat> Loro Piana shoe box. It's kind of an orange with a teal trim, so really cute. All right. <laughs> and the first color is uh, what they call saddle brown. And I just think that this is a gorgeous brown shade, which is another color I've really gotten into. And I have a lot of boots in this color, but I didn't have flats. And as I'm getting older, I really do appreciate flats <laughs> and comfy flats. And so I think that these are a timeless uh stylish shoe so first impression the shade is gorgeous um the bottom is not as white as some white bottom shoes it is a rubber i have i saw a short on the internet of someone having these redone and they basically like shave the outer layer when it gets like all gross but we will see how that goes i'll have to do an update and these ones I got in a size 39, which I think is equivalent to a US size nine. So the stitching detail is really pretty. Um, and then it has, the charms are just, they, they look better in person. They're so small, they're not intrusive, really, really pretty. Um, and then it does have a logo on the back and then branding on the bottom as well. 
and I'll have to try them on for sizing. It does have a loose foot insole, so it looks like you can stick this in for sizing. So I'm not sure what that is. That's interesting though. So I don't know if that was forgotten because they were pumping them out <laughs> or what, but that's how mine came, not connected. So it's kind of just sitting in there. I will say that the, the wrapping, the packaging is not as impressive. I think Dior, <laughs> when I got that box, I was like, wow, it was beautiful. So I would say regular, regular shoe boxing uh, packaging. Let's see, yeah, the other one isn't uh, attached either, so I don't know if that's normal. If you have these or have purchased these, let me know, because this is my first uh, viewing of them and I've never been in a store to see them in person before, so I'm actually not sure how that goes, but um, that is interesting. So I don't know if they offer other ones for a different comfort or how that goes. Uh, the good thing is that I know I can replace them, so if they get dirty or gross, then you can replace them. So let's see what else. Um, I did notice that there is a logo on one, but not the other, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, the interior stitching is really pretty. It has a scalloped edge um, and just, you know, really lovely. I'd say a classic shoe, you know, and Again, I love, lo I love wearing loafers in the cooler months with denim and trousers and uh, in the summertime with shorts. I think it's a really cute kind of coastal look and, and I really like that. So um, let's see how these fit. Okay, and based upon my initial story, you probably know what color these are, so let's open it up. Oh, so these came wrapped in plastic, so that is different than the other pair. They were just wrapped in the, um, paper so I wonder if one's from the factory and one from the store and then I did pick both of these up from Saks which I will link below and I also have found some I guess replicas they're not like counterfeit there are other brands that are making ones similar that I have on order to see if there is any big difference between these so stay tuned for that so these kind of look like a return. They're a little different than the other ones, um, but the color I love. So the color I love, these both have the silver hardware. There are a few that come in gold hardware, but these are on my feet. That really doesn't matter to me that much. More the color of the leather is what I was going for. And um, I would say the soles on these are a little more yellow as well um they're gray so gray is a very understated color um, and i did go for a light gray um, because i think that light gray can go with a dark or a lighter shade better and so i like that um, i would say first impressions they're not as pretty as the brown ones <laughs> even though they're the same they're just not as stunning, but the color is what I was going for, and I think ultimately they will work. Um, these have the same thing, the insoles come out, so that must be normal. And then these I got in a 38 and a half. These are equivalent to an eight and a half. So I am interested to try them on because the other ones were a little snug, but we'll talk about sizing in just a moment. So this is a very light gray with white stitching, and then it does have the rubber sole, which is supposed to add to the comfort of wearing them. 
Um, and overall, I mean, there's nothing wrong with them. They, even though they may, mm, they may have been worn. Um, they're not like really worn or used, but they do not look as pristine as the other pair. Okay, and I wanted to mention, I actually apparently picked them up from Neiman Marcus and not Saks, but they have them at both places, so I'm not, I'm not sure why. Probably what happened is I love to use the Rakuten app and Neiman Marcus probably had a higher cash back. So if you don't use that, you should, especially if you're buying from those kind of stores because you get cash back. I have a link below if you don't have that app, check it out. So, uh, okay, thoughts on these. So I got basically a nine and an eight and a half, and they say size down because they are leather and leather stretches. That is not just this brand, that is any brand of leather shoe, so that you should know that. And so if you are, especially a soft leather like this, it's really gonna start shaping out rather quickly. Like I imagine if people have, um, you know, bunions and things, it's gonna poke out on the side, which uh, will show, and it's just a real soft uh, suede leather upper, so it is gonna mold to your foot. Uh, another thing, I have thin feet and these fit me snug. So if you have like thicker feet or a wider toe box, these are not gonna be comfortable for you. I have thin feet all the way up, so these are fine for me. And I actually really like both sizes. So I do find the eight and a half to be rather snug. They were a tad difficult to get on, but I do know they will loosen. I really like how the nines feel, but I could tell they are a little loose. So it's gonna be dependent on how much I wear them. I think I'm gonna keep both of them because I like the size difference. And if the um, size nine get a little too loose, you can just change out your insole for a thicker one. Um, there's different ways to get the sizing right. And so, I don't know, I'm gonna try it. Uh, what else? Um, so, something that everybody raves about is the quality. And they are nice. There is nothing wrong. There are a lot of great details. Um, so that is beautiful. I don't see anything that I'm like, oh my gosh, why would they do that? It is a beautiful shoe, I think. Um, and again, I love loafers, so I think that they're pretty. I think they're classy and timeless. So I really, really do like them. We will see how they wear. Now, as far as comfort, uh, people, I have heard people say, these are the most comfortable. These are not the most comfortable <laughs> loafers I've ever put on. I'm just saying, I love them, I will wear them. They're not uncomfortable, but they are certainly not the most comfortable. Um, they're a really nice loafer. And if you like, you know, name brand things and luxury things, it's almost like the purses, you know, like you can find nice leather purses, but you can pay, you know, five or 10 times more if it has a name brand on it. So this is kind of similar. And like I said, I do have some similar ones. I actually wanted like a fun color, but I didn't want to spend this much on a fun color. So I got a pair from another brand uh, who has a similar style. So again, that'll probably be in my loafers review because it's gonna be a newer one. And these I got in classic long-term colors because you know I, I have been looking um, at these for a while and decided to make the investment. So overall, if you love this brand and you need a pair of loafers, do I recommend them? Yes, they're beautiful. There's literally nothing wrong with them. Uh, if you don't wanna spend the money on these, there are other alternatives to give you the same look. Um, how they fit in comparison, we will see. But um, anyway, hope this was helpful. 
All right, well, I can't think of anything else to mention, but if I left anything out or you have any questions, uh, leave it in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer. I'll probably do a review at some point. I'll mostly wear them a lot, I think in the spring and summer, so it'd probably have to be at the end of that time. Um, again, I think these are great for all year round though. Um, so hopefully this was helpful, um, informative and fun. And if you enjoyed it, please consider giving this video a like so that YouTube will press it out to more ladies that it may potentially help. And if you haven't subscribe, subscribed, <laughs> please consider doing so. It's free and I would love to have you back. I wanted to thank you so much for dropping in and spending some of your time with me. I really do appreciate it. I hope that you have a wonderful day and I hope to see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.